Wow, my makeup looks good in this lighting. Wow. Okay, let me. I'm annoying. Anyways, I am currently on lunch. I obviously can't record anything while I'm at work, so this is gonna be mainly like after work for you guys but yeah um if you guys are wondering about my makeup there will be a makeup monday this will be going up on tuesday but today's monday when i filmed it but to go for the car to go all right that's gonna be 727 in the next window thank you yeah. she caught me recording myself I'll come back to you when I'm out of the in and out line, but I'm eating in and out for lunch. But she called me recording myself and I'm uncomfortable. So I'll come back to you guys. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back. I'm finally back at the parking lot in my car. Um, so I do this pretty much for every lunch. I'll bring my food or if I go get food then I'll eat it in my car. I just prefer it that way and I just open all my windows just cause I feel like if I eat in my conference room at work, like people will come up to me and ask me questions about work. And I'm just trying to like chill for just like the hour that I have, you know. So, yeah, today I got in and out. And as you guys saw by the last clip, I was talking to you guys while I was in the line. And the girl caught me because she came to take my order. But they were taking a while. So I thought I had time. Didn't have time. And she caught me. So I got embarrassed. So I'm here to talk to you guys now. So, yeah, there's my in and out. My in and out order. I get a lot of people saying that my in and out order is weird, but I don't think it's weird. Like, it's very much me. I get a cheeseburger with grilled onions, no tomato, and extra lettuce. And then obviously it comes with the fries, and I get a Dr. Pepper. Um, and an essential part of my order is that I need spread. If you guys have not, if you guys don't eat your in and out with their spread, you're kind of weird, and I'm gonna need you to do that. So yeah, let me know what your in and out order is. Is mine weird to you? What do you think? I just dropped the salt and I need that for my fries. I also need to put fries on my in and out fries because let's just face it, in and out fries are the worst fries that they are out there. But if you put some salt on them and eat them with spread, pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch. On my lunch, I normally would just watch like a Netflix show or like if I'm watching one at the moment. Right now I'm currently watching or finishing Flash, as well as like Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, and Arrow. If you're into DC, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, I just sounded like a huge nerd to you and I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, either watch one of those or watch a YouTube video, kinda depends on if there's anything, like if there's a good YouTube video up. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill, eat this lunch, and I'll probably see you guys once I'm off of work and on my way home because I don't do anything interesting at work to film. Also, I can't film anything at work because if I film anything with any client information on them, I will get fired. So, I will see you guys when I'm off. Guess who is finally off? Me, if you couldn't tell, me, me. Um, so yeah, I'm finally off of work. We're gonna go home because I'm tired, uh, but I'm gonna stop by Target because I need a new toothbrush and some body wash. And my biggest tip, I mean, I've only started really using it due to COVID to be honest, because I love Target. So I would love to go in there and just like, walk around you know look at everything but due to covid like it's not fun walking around right now you know it's just not cute you know it's just not and it like everybody's like walking all weird i'm gonna try to drive with you guys on my dash right here mom if you're watching dad if you're watching stepdad if you're watching stepmom if you're watching um i promise i'm just in my work parking lot i'm not driving anywhere crazy okay thanks i'm just trying to get the air circulating in here but, oh, what was I gonna say? I distracted myself. Oh, I will be going to Target and I am gonna be using the um, the drive up thing. And I, it has become my new favorite thing because I don't have to do anything. If Especially with like things like this, like I know what I need already. It's like 
quick it's just simple things that i need like body wash and a toothbrush like why do i want to go in there so i already paid for it and now i can just go drive and pick it up it's so great so i'll show you guys once i'm there so i have to do that as well because i ordered that earlier the only down part of this is that you have to wait four hours for it to do so i just did it at my lunch and then that was four hours right now so yeah highly recommend i'm so like no complaints, no? But we're gonna actually drive now. So I will see you guys at Target when I'm there. Officially at Target, you can see it right there. I can't film much here because they're gonna come out to my car and then they scare the scan my barcode. Um, but I highly recommend the drive up because it's so much simpler. I'll show you guys what I got, but all I got was body wash and a toothbrush. But I'll still show you guys, you know? So yeah, see, so cute. Um, and then after this, I have to go get gas because, you know, my car needs gas. So we're going to do that, too. So then we'll go home. Then then I can take this off because, to be honest, at the end of the day, I'm just tired of my eyelashes sometimes. So got to go because the guy's coming. Fun fact, I can only pump my gas at a Chevron. Not because anybody told me that. Well, I told myself that because, you know, the gas is very good here. It lasts a long time. It's a little bit of the more pricier gas that you can get, but it, I just feel like it lasts me so much longer. Like, I can go a week with this one tank where if I went somewhere else, it would, like, eat it up in, like, three to four days. So, and I want some flowers. I'll show you guys when I get home and I put it in the little vase that I have. An issue with buying flowers from street vendors especially um, but I guess it's not really an issue because I'm helping you know my people so but I buy them all the time ask my mom all the time isn't the best feeling when your gas is full love that for me Okay, I'm here to show you guys what I got from Target because I know I said that I'd show you, even though it's not that interesting, but you know, so I got a toothbrush, excuse my closet, I promise it's clean, this side just looks more jumbled because of all these hangers, um, but I got my toothbrush, I just, I honestly don't really have like a particular one that I get, I always just need to make sure that it's either like a medium or like the, I don't know if they call it like rough or hard. I don't know, but like soft toothbrushes I don't really like. I feel like it doesn't get my teeth as clean. So that one's a medium one. And then I got some body wash. I normally get this exact one, but just the plain one. There's like no fragrance to it, uh, but same Dove. I really like Dove soap. It makes my skin soft. And yeah, that's just what I like. And I prefer body wash just because I feel like a bar of soap, it's like, can get some bacteria on it and just doesn't sound great so i like body wash it's just what i prefer but like i said they were out of the one that i normally get which is just the unscented one that one's just the best doesn't mess with anything you know but this is the peony and rose oil one which i mean i'm not mad about so you know we can have some fragrance in our life it smells good i mean i definitely just prefer the unscented one but for what we can get and i just prefer this because do you see how big this is right and this is nine dollars for this whole thing so this lasts me like a long time like mm, i take showers every single day if you're if you don't take showers every day sometimes twice a day so i'd say like this lasts me like about a month so yeah that's what i got so interesting right um so basically what i need to do today is i need to edit my makeup monday that needs to go up like in an hour so I need to do that because um, so most of the time I've done this before where I've slacked and then had to edit it in one day most of the time I like to have it up and just ready and I've been trying to upload it at 12 because people said that they liked that more but today's not one of those days um, this weekend I honestly just took it to like little lax so I hadn't filmed anything so I filmed this look this morning when I went to which is what I will do if I film on a Monday I will film the makeup look. I'm going to take my makeup off while I'm talking to you guys. And I'm so sorry because you're going to see me transform from, you know, to like scary. But if I do end up filming on the same day, which I really hate to do because then I'm just rushed and I just prefer to pre-film everything. But if it so happens that I need to film and edit and everything on one day, 
and I mean it can be done makeup Mondays actually don't take that long to edit because they're like three minute videos so it should only take me about like maybe like 30 minutes to edit just because I have to insert my I have to do my voice over and then insert my voice over and insert the music according to my voice so should only take about 30 minutes which is a lot less than if I was editing like a YouTube video. A YouTube video can take me anywhere from like two hours to sometimes like four hours. It just depends on the type of video and how much editing is in that video. So yeah, this is fun taking off my makeup. Um, right now, like I said, I have to edit my makeup Monday, but I'm also going to be making some cauliflower ball <laughs> buffalo cauliflower with potatoes so i'm gonna make that i think i'm gonna make that to pop it in the oven and then edit while that's cooking because it's gonna take like an hour to cook well like the potatoes and i'm hungry already so let's go ahead and do that i'll show you guys what i'm doing because i'm actually using the buffalo cauliflower recipe from tiktok so i will take you guys with me let's go make that so I'm going to show you guys how I make my potatoes um, because I've never gotten really direct questions on it but some, like when I post my food on Instagram I get a lot of like hard eyes so I think you guys like me to show you guys food and I know that my mom loves like the way that I make these so you're just going to take red potatoes honestly any potatoes it doesn't need to be red potatoes I can't like put this where you guys can see it I'm gonna put it right there you can kind of see it so the first thing that I do is I take butter and if you're Mexican you have this butter but any butter will work but this is the country crock one I don't know why Hispanics are like this but it's the one that we get so I'm just gonna take a spoon and I take about that much and I take like two of those depending on how many potatoes I have I'm actually gonna take three Depends on how many potatoes I have. Three and a half. Okay, I'm so sorry. Depends on how many potatoes you have and how much butter you want. This just makes it like not stick to the pan, but also very flavorful. So, highly recommend. And then, uh, another thing that I do that I feel like gives it so much flavor, and I feel like not a lot of people do this, is I take minced garlic. This is my favorite thing ever, like to buy. It doesn't, I don't, it doesn't need to be a particular brand this is just one that i got at walmart but i love me some garlic so i take like that much honestly more like two spoonfuls and yeah honestly best love that love that for me so good it gives it so much flavor then for actual spices I'm, i pull them out as i go so i'll just show you guys so i take some paprika and i take quite a bit this is what gives your potatoes that little smokiness and that color so i like quite a bit you can season these as much as you want or as little as you want so just remember that okay just because i'm putting a lot of something does not mean you need to do that um, and then I take some black peppercorn, which is just pepper, if you didn't know. But this is from Trader Joe's with this little grinder. It just tastes more fresh. And also, not just more fresh, but I feel like I don't need as much pepper when I'm using this. Like, I feel like it's so much stronger than, like, like this is, like, like this is the normal pepper that we use. And it's so much stronger. Like, I don't need as much. I know it sounds weird, but it's really true. And then I take garlic salt. This is my favorite seasoning, hands down. I don't even use salt that much, honestly. I just use garlic salt. So I use this. I don't put too, too much, even though I love it because, you know, I don't want these salty. And then, like I said, add whatever you want, whatever makes you feel happy, whatever gives you that. But then, this is my favorite one if I want these to be like a little bit spicy. Not spicy, but just a little bit of a kick. I like to use this, which is this hot Mexican chili powder. And you'll be able to tell the difference. It's much of a darker, deeper red than paprika. But yeah. So just a little bit of this. It's not spicy so much, but it does give it a little bit of a kick. So just like that. So this is what my potatoes look like right now. 
I'm trying not to let it fall, as you guys can tell. And then I'm gonna take my hands. I know, my hands. I mean, it's a lot better if you don't have nails like this, but just wash them after, you know, it's okay. But make sure you take off all your rings and you're gonna go in and you're gonna mix this together because you want this butter to become little pieces. And yeah, so literally just go in there and I just mix everything. You want the spices to be on everything and you want all the butter and the garlic to be distributed and you don't want all your spices in one side of your potatoes you want them to be like mixed you know you want all sides of your potatoes to taste good duh and i at first like you look crazy like i know because you're rubbing butter into some potatoes and i know that it sounds kind of weird but honestly, like this is the best that there is, my opinion. So then once it's all mixed, the butter, it, I mean, the butter's not gonna go away. It'll be in just smaller chunks like this, which is fine. Doesn't need to be gone, but then you're just gonna let uh, level that out. And then I just like to take off, if there's any like chunks of butter on my hands, throw that back in. And then I'm gonna wash my hands because you know, my biggest tip if you have long nails like me acrylic nails is to use one of these this is this is the little brush that came with my like um my glass straws or it comes they come with metal straws it's just like a little thing and basically i take this and i rub it underneath my nails and it'll get out anything that's underneath your nails it's honestly great it's a lifesaver i learned that trick from when i used to do um ceramics in high school because you know nails and then ceramics like it wasn't a good mix but i learned that taking a little brush like that would take out like all the clay underneath my nails so i started doing it at home with like just normal things that i do and it made the world of a difference so now i'm gonna make my cauliflower i'm going to insert the little tiktok that i'm using to make this i'm not going to show you guys how to make this because i've never made this so i don't want to share anything that doesn't taste good, but I'll let you know if it tastes good. But I'll insert the TikTok now. I'll take literally any excuse to have buffalo sauce. Here's how to make these buffalo cauliflower bites. To make the batter, whisk together a half cup of flour, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, some black pepper, a half teaspoon of paprika, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Pour in a half cup of milk. Almond milk or water works here too. Add in the cauliflower florets, mine are about this size, and mix to coat them evenly in the batter. I also put some baby potatoes in for some extra bulk. Grease a foil lined baking tray, add the cauliflower, and roast for 20 to 25 minutes at 425. In the meantime, make the buffalo sauce. Melt two tablespoons of butter and whisk in a third of a cup of hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot works perfectly here. Add the roasted cauliflower to the buffalo sauce, toss well to coat, and serve with some ranch. These are pretty healthy and so good. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And here's my cauliflower. As you guys can tell, she added her potatoes into the mix with this, but I just wanted to make it like this because I know that my brother likes to eat those separately, so I didn't want to make them like a different way that I know that I'm only going to eat it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this, and then I'll be back, and I'll show you guys when that's done. Once this is in the oven, I will show you guys when I'm editing, but yeah, I'm going to make this exactly how it turns out. I'll let you guys know how it turns out. And then for the potatoes, those are gonna cook for like 50 minutes. I put a timer on for 20 minutes and then I will stir them. And then another 20 minutes, stir them. If they still need more time, then I do it in five minute inquiry. So it just kind of depends on how big your potatoes are and everything like that. So yeah, I will see you. So now that all of that's in the oven and I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and edit. I'm not gonna show you guys this obviously, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit now and these are old clips. None of these are here yet, but yeah, here's my lock screen. I know you guys liked my old one, but I felt like it was time for a new one. So here's the new one. Isn't she so cute? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit now and I will tell you guys once those cauliflowers are out of the oven. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and I just stirred all of this. As you guys can tell, it looks so good with like all the butter and all of the garlic. It looks so good. They're obviously not ready. They're going to go in for like another 20 minutes, but just wanted to show you guys in here and then you guys can see like the butter at the bottom. So good. So we're going to do that and then I'm also going to flip my cauliflower, which is right there. And just like that, they are done and you just want to take like a fork or a knife and just make sure that they're super soft 
and easy to poke a hole uh poke a fork through it you see like this one's like mashing and then i also wanted to let you guys know if you guys do make your potatoes like this make sure you guys are stirring in between because you don't want the garlic to burn because if you ever had burnt garlic that's disgusting so just make sure you're constantly mixing so this is what the cauliflower looks like um before i put the buffalo sauce on it i already tried a piece it looks good so we're gonna make the sauce and then i'm gonna eat So this is totally going to be like a productive vlog, like all editing, doing this laundry that I have to do behind me, you know, very productive. And then it turned to not so much. I just watched a show and I was going to start editing my video for tomorrow. But now we're going over to my Nino's to sing happy birthday because it's his birthday. I was not expecting to go to his house today. So let's go. <laughs> Are you at the club? Okay, Rudy, go up there. Rudy, go, Rudy, go. At the club? When you're in quarantine, you gotta act like the club's at your house? for me on a work night because I'm not really in bed by 11 not taking a shower at 11 so yeah I'm gonna go do that go to bed I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it took more of a turn than expected but hopefully there's enough content in here for you let me know if you guys like my vlogs I need to get better at them but you know we'll work through it and also the quarantine is making them not as interesting so you know as as fast as I can do things then they'll become more interesting too. So we will work on it together. Love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great night. Well, you might be watching this early. Hope you have a great morning, night, whenever you're watching this. And yeah, I love you guys so much. See you guys in my next Thursday upload. Bye.